hello, hello, my friends. Caitlin here, and let's do a Halloween lookbook. I feel like if Wednesday Adams was going to pick some glasses for my collection, she would pick these. <laughs> So you want to know what sucks when you get out of like elementary school but definitely middle school essentially by the time you get to high school and then college and then definitely the working world it's kind of frowned upon to wear costumes to whatever you're doing on the day of Halloween. So I wanted to create something for people who can't necessarily wear a costume when they go to school or to work, but they still want to celebrate the holiday. So for outfit number one, we go straight into cutesy Halloween. No one is going to be able to tell you that you cannot wear this outfit to school or work. So I've had this orange jack-o'-lantern shirt for a few Halloweens, and I always love pairing it with some kind of skirt. And this year, I discovered from Mod Cloth this adorable pumpkin and cat skirt. So basically put them together and it is the most magical and adorable Halloween outfit that I could have come up with. Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. We're so sorry skeletons, you're so misunderstood. You only want to socialize. But I don't think a spooky, scary skeleton shouts startling shrilly screams. The sneak them, there's a couple of girls and just won't leave you be. For outfit number two, we went with the classic inspiration of Wednesday Adams. So basically you've got to go with some sort of black dress or top that has a white collar. Also to make the dress longer, because I don't want to show everyone my butt, I put under the dress this tulle black skirt. One of my favorite styles for shoes to wear are these super high wedge Mary Janes, and then add to it these cutesy, cutesy, cute little uh, white hose socks. There's just something about it that makes it look extremely Lolita and just adorable, and I felt like this is something that my Wednesday Adams version would wear. And I would have put my hair in braids, but I recently got it cut and there are a whole bunch of layers and it just doesn't really braid right now. So I went with pigtails instead. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together hooky, the Adams family. Outfit number three is Hocus Pocus inspired, of course. Now you could choose whichever of the witches to draw inspiration from, but I knew that I had purple and green kind of flowing styles in my wardrobe, so I went with Winifred. I've got a purple lace dress, which underneath I layered a kind of similar colored lavender tulle skirt. I have way too many tulle skirts. That was very popular a few years ago, and I like bought them in all the colors because it helps me extend regular dresses and give them kind of the poofiness that I enjoy, but it, it looked really great with this. And then I put an olive green duster vest over top and cinched it together with a cool corset style belt. To round out the green and purple, I wore some olive heeled lace up booties. The lace up ankle boots in that style just look like witch's shoes to me. Also, I tried doing my hair in double buns, but it just didn't really work out. It didn't look the way that I wanted it to. I, I couldn't get it to tease out as much as I wanted. So I just scrapped that and went with kind of like a poofy top to my normal curls. I am a Finally, we have outfit number four, which is inspired by Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now the question always is, is The Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? This was actually the last outfit that I picked out because I have this black tee with a silver rib cage on the front of it and I was like, I really want to wear it, but I didn't know like what character or kind of style that I could go with and I was like, wait, Jack Skellington is a skeleton. So from there, I paired it with a black and white striped skirt plus some black tights and then I have these super cool metallic silver boots and I was like, yes, I feel like Jack would wear this. I also have a white cape blazer that I felt like, since Jack is the Pumpkin King, he would definitely wear something like this. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween. In this town we call home, everyone hail to the pumpkin song. <laughs> Whoa! 
whoa, okay, that was a lot of Halloween and fashion and music and it was, ah! So yesterday, before I filmed this video, I saw a bunch of my friends and they were like, so Kaylin, what are you gonna be for Halloween? And I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't really have a costume. Like I made the Emma Swan cosplay earlier, so I guess if I went to a party, I could wear that. In the process of making this video, I realized like how good some of these outfits were. They're not just like inspired, but with like a little bit of creativity with like hair and makeup and stuff, you could really make them into costumes if you wanted. So this is not just a lookbook, it's also a, you know, if you wanna have a costume for Halloween, I got you covered. Whoop whoop. So, which was your favorite look? Make sure you tell me down in the comments. I really love them all, but I think the Hocus Pocus one was my favorite because when I was picking out things, it was my least favorite, but once I put the outfit on, I was like, wow, I look really awesome in this and I feel like witchy and cool. So that's that's my favorite. I may try to wear it like actually on Halloween or something. <laughs> Plus remember that you can check me out on these other social media sites. Come hang out with me and my cat and my coloring projects. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I hope this video made you smile and I will see you guys on Thursday, bye. <laughs>